Don't run. Oh. I told you not to run. Are you all right? No, no I think what so. I feel like I'm like oh. PE with basketball. I'd really hate to miss basketball. Oh. Can you put any weight on it? I think so, yep. Yeah. I'll be fine. Oh. Take her back to the study room. I'll oh, let you teach her. Right. Oh. Hang on, we'll be there soon. You boys, get back to the field. Bert, off your car. Well, I think that was a pretty fine performance. No more basketball for another week. <laughs> Give me a chance to get some of the costume stuff done at the circus. If anyone asks, just tell them I went home. Oh, my shoes, did you pick them up? No, I did. I'm not going to say it more than twice. It's here the problem I was right. My patience, unfortunately, does not come from a bottomless pit. There are certain students treating this school like a part-time nuisance. What do they could be? So from now on, you'll have to find time for your outside interests outside school hours. But what about our free periods, sir? They are not free periods, Nigel. They are study periods, meant for study. Not juggling, not football, not gossiping down at the cafe. Sir, there's an important point I'd like to make. Yes, Robert. How come the rest of us have to suffer just because the circus freaks stuffed up? Oh, oh, I I that. All right, that's enough, that's enough. From now on, you're all going to have to knuckle down. From now on, your school takes priority. Now, Julianne, do you think you could wear a uniform for once in your life? Good work, bozos. I've got into school carnival this month, and now, thanks to you, my training's shot. Hey, we're all in the same boat. He'll get over us. When? Next month. It'll be too late, then. Maybe we should all get together and demand our rights. Yeah, and we can ask for a pool and our own private beach at the same time. Hey, you've never even seen what we do, Robbo. Stupid circus, I wish it would fold. One high tackle too many, I'd say. <laughs> in my last school, we had a junior rep on the student council. Mm, yes, I could just see Bill buying that. Yes. In the next millennium. <laughs> Wait up. Um, my biology assignment, sir. Well, that's finished early. Very good of you. Well, I look forward to reading it. Oh, and I wanted to ask you a question, sir. See, um, how would you rate democracy as a basic human right? On, say, a score of ten. Well, that's an odd way of looking at it, but ten out of ten, of course. Thanks, sir. That's what I told them. Told who? Oh, it was just a rumour going around, but I stood up for you. I said equal rights would be really important to you. Well, absolutely. Of course they are. You know, because some of the kids are talking about electing a junior rep. And I said, being the sort of person that you are, you'd be all for it. Oh, did you indeed? For a student representative. I was right, wasn't I, sir? Yes, of course you were. Great. I'll see you about the details tomorrow, then. Oh! Now, I told you about that, son. Serves you right. So you actually got Bull to agree? Wow, I'm impressed. Now all you've got to do is get elected. Me? I can't stand. Training already cuts from my study. Look, I can't do it. Simo? Me and Bull? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Look, then who else? We need to find someone who can keep us on Bull's good side. Yeah, someone who can stand up to him. Someone who's organised and energetic. You. Hey, have I suddenly become totally invisible? Or maybe I've slipped into a black hole without realising. Hey, what about Jordan or Karen? Excuse me, I am capable, you know. I like Jules, but that's not the issue. Bull's not going to listen to her, and the rest of the school thinks that she's a bit of a bubblehead. They're not going to vote for her. Yeah, well, maybe she'll be the only nomination. And what if she's not? What if someone else stands who isn't interested in the circus? Where's that going to leave us? But the rest of the school aren't going to vote for me. They think I'm a dad. Yeah, well, that's true, but only on the outside. We'll de-dag you with a new image. One that's cool, with charisma. Look, can I go now? I'm late for a piano lesson. I could be your campaign manager. Will you at least think about it? Toilet paper. Great. Peanut butter crunchy. Come on, Jules, we've got to go. And what? What? For the fishing competition. You said you take me. Better put memory on that list too, Mum. Milk. 
Uh, Jules, Friday afternoon, can you take Mitchell to his fishing competition? Well, my biology assignment's due and I really should put the work in. But if you say so... No, good girl. No, Mum. I can't. It's all organised. OK, thank you. Come on. Chop, chop, everyone. Car's leaving. Three. This is not a popularity quest. The person you elect will have to represent your views on the student council. It's a very important position. And the nominees are Robert Sideway. Yeah, all right, all right. Keep it down, keep it down. Kiet Nguyen. And, well, this is a pleasant surprise. Julianne Ray. Good luck to all of you. Now, the uh, elections will be held this time next week. May I remind you that some of you have not handed in your biology assignments. I'm going to do you circus freaks like a dinner. Yeah, in your dreams, Robbo. So, why'd you nominate? You knew I was interested in standing. Look, it's nothing against you. I was asked to stand, OK? Who by? That's not important. Oh, you're supposed to be my friend. He's been in the circus like five minutes. What's he know? I've been there forever. Well, maybe it's time for a bit of fresh blood. Look, nothing personal, Jules. I just thought that Kit would be better for the job. Well, it's it's not really our decision, is it? Now wait here. Okay, you guys, I've seen that look before. The yeah, I want something look. Okay, now you realise that with two candidates, the circus votes will be split in half. Half for Kiev and half for Jules. Which will almost guarantee that Robber will win. It'd be a disaster. He's got no interest in the circus at all. He's never even been to a show. Okay, so what's that got to do with me? Well, we figured you could talk to her. You know, get her to step aside. Oh, no. No way. Come on. Most kids think Jules is kind of weird. Simo, can you please concentrate? Yeah, and uh, some kids think you're kind of nerdish too. Yes. But we figure it's easier to take the nerd out of Kiet than to take the weird out of Jules. Look, if you do get elected, it's really going to bite me training time. I mean, what happens when you've got a show coming up? And then there's the costumes and stuff. You don't think I should do it, do you? Come on, all I'm saying is, why would you want to spend more time with Paul than you have to? Paul and I get along OK. Come on, Jules, you're from two different worlds. He's always complaining about your clothes and stuff. I am getting tired of people assuming I'm an airhead just because of the way I look. They're releasing the fish into the river and everything. There's special tags on them. There are prizes. I could win a fishing rod. So they catch him, tag him, then release him so you can catch him again. Seems logical. Unless, of course, you're a fish. It's on this Friday. You can come too. Dallas is taking me. Hmm. Friday. Let me think. Oh, no, I think I've got something on that day. Friday? The new mutant zombie movie opens. You can't go fishing Friday. Here you go, Simo. And cheer up. You're scaring away the customers. Thanks, Carmen. Well, how'd she take it? She was really cut up about it. And I don't blame her one bit. Well, did you break it to her gently? Look, she's not going to quit. And why should she? Who are we to say that she's not going to be great at the job? Personally, I think if she wants to run, then she should. <sighs> OK, OK. So we have ourselves a minor setback. We'll just have to make sure that you win now. Just how are we going to do that? Well, you're intelligent, articulate, quick-witted. All we've got to do now is make you popular. We've just got to work against your weaknesses, make you look more sporty and less brainy. Less, um... Wouldn't it be easier to try and highlight my strengths? No. Everyone knows you're a naked. Reckon you can make your neck look fatter? Sure, maybe I can punch myself in the nose as well. Or bleed from the ears. Hey, this is no time to get sensitive. Just remember, 
every kid out there is a potential vote. And don't forget to finish your policy speech. Yes, that I can do. Good, because tomorrow I have you speaking to the basketball team and then quicker word to a drama class. <laughs> what? I didn't agree to that. They think I'm a nerd. Yet you are a nerd. Well, at least in their definition of the word, which is that you can string more than three words together, more than three syllables each. Which reminds me, use small words. Thanks, Simo. I can use your help with the sports vote. What are footballers into besides kicking a lump of pigskin around a paddock? Ah, uh, food. Jules! Can't you guys ever knock? I'm sorry, but it's an emergency. Something's come up. The opening of the new mutant zombie film. We've got to be there. But it's on Friday when I'm supposed to take Mitchell fishing. End of conversation. <laughs> Goodbye. Jules, please. 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 You've got please. to help me out. I'll swear you. I'll do anything. So go the next day. Now clear out. It's the second day, but everyone will have seen it by then. That's like torture. They'll all blab about it. Tell it to someone who cares. Now what does the sign on the door say? Keep out. Campaign HQ. Do not disturb. Disturb! That means you now clear out! Sorry. Smelling was never one of my strong points. We can have a barbecue with steaks and prawns and... Student rep? I asked for sausage ages ago. Oh, hurry up. What's the hold up? I'm starving. We're going to run out of sausages in a minute. We're going to have a riot on our hands. We'll put some more up. We haven't got any more. I couldn't afford it anymore. <gasps> Cut them in half. Just keep them happy until I make my speech. It's a very large sausage cut in half. So now it's only a large sausage as distinct from a very large sausage. Guys, guys, if I could have your attention. First, I'd like to thank you all for coming. And I'd like to take a moment of your time to explain why I'm standing as student rep. Where's all the sausages? You said free food. Yeah, I believe everyone has the right to be heard. Um, every opinion is valuable. So, where's all the sausages? We want sausages! We want sausages! We want sausages! We want sausages! Come on, guys. We want sausages! We want sausages! Do you want to hear this? We want sausages! Look, there's Robbo! I've seen pigs with better manners. Maybe we should have just put out a trough filled it with spaghettios and garnished it with a couple of dead cats. Well, the guys who got food said they had a good time. <laughs> and which three were they? I couldn't hear them above the lynch mob. Oh, those rotten, sneaky little... Hey, guys, how'd the barbecue go? Heard you had a good roll-up. It went exceptionally well. Thank you for your concern. Well, what do you think? They're great. Perhaps I wouldn't have chosen that colour. Kind of makes Sporty Kit here look a, a little insipid. No offence, of course, guys. Look, I better get your prices up before they've had too much of a vanish. We are not putting these up. Kids make them look like some private school art class. I spent hours on these. Maybe you're taking this a bit too seriously. Well, maybe we wouldn't have wasted so much time on them if we knew what the opposition was up to. You have to anticipate their every move. First prize is computer for school. So I'm after second prize, a whole new fishing rod. Do you reckon the worms feel it when you stick the hook through them? Oh no. I'm sure those little things can hardly wait. Maybe they scream but we just don't hear them. You know, like one of those dog whistles. Wow, who died? Break off you and take your worms with you. Why are you dressed like that? It's a strategy. I have to make people believe I'm normal. Now let's do it. We have to get these printed up by tomorrow. How's this? And this. Look at this. What are you pair doing in here? Okay, fine. If that's the way you feel. We just thought you might want some help putting up your dumb posters. Wait. What's the catch? Ten bucks. No way. Impossible. You know I'm broke. Okay, we'll swap you. You take me to his fishing competition and we'll put up your posters. Done! But you'd better put them up in the right place. Simo! And so in the forthcoming election for student representative, remember, um, 
The democratic landscape is defined by an amalgam of each and every elector. So um, make your vote count. Vote one, Keith and win. Thank you for your attention. That was supposed to be the drama class. What happened? Drama class, football team. Football team? Look, what's the difference? A vote is a vote. Someone threw a half-eaten salad roll at me. Well, I, I did tell you not to use big words. Yes. Hi. Sorry, I just reached go. Great, perfect. They loved it. So that did explain that uh, slice of tomato on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Better than throwing eggs, I guess. Oh, I see you've got your paces up. Pity about the spelling. What? Julianne! Julianne, a word. I seem to be missing one biology assignment. It is due today. Oh, sorry, sir. It's been all the campaigning. Would Monday be OK? The others have managed to complete it. I think you can stay behind now. Oh, no, no, but I can't. I've got to take Mitchell to... No a... excuses. Library, now. A favor, Mitch. Never do biology. You were supposed to take me fishing. You promised. You will tell to Mr. Bull. He kept me back, Mum. I couldn't get out of it. It's no big deal. Well, it clearly is a big deal to Mitch. He was counting on you. I'll make it up to him after the election. I promise. No good telling me. Tell Mitch. You've known me for three years and you still can't smell my name? Look, I don't know. Maybe you should have done it yourself. No one's going to notice anyway. Well, what's the point of posters if no one's going to notice? That should attract some attention. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you think this is hilarious. No, I wouldn't go that far. Mildly amusing, perhaps. I didn't do it, OK? I don't believe you. Well, I don't care what you believe. I don't pretend to be someone I'm not. I don't play dirty. See you later. I'm not making a speech to the basketball team. That's final. The last experience was enough, thanks. You two must be really desperate. This your handiwork, is it? No, it is not. I'm not that low. So you, you don't mind if I check your locker for a marking pen? I'm not doing anything of the sort. Why not? Got something to hide? You're not touching my stuff. <gasps> Which makes you look totally guilty. They're just impossible. We start out trying to do something for the circus and now they're driving everyone nuts. Good afternoon, Mrs. Perez. Hello, Robert. What can I get for you? A bit of that cake would be nice. Maybe we need a bit of insurance. What? He said some things earlier. Well, maybe we've misjudged him. Hey, Robbo, grab a seat. in here because to be quite honest we're sick and tired of you guys fighting all the time how are you going to deal with bull when you can't even deal with each other answer me that huh
like I may have found out Graffiti Bandit. She's pretty cross, you know. I don't care. She promised to take me fishing. Is that what this is all about? Look, mate, you know, sometimes people do things they wish they hadn't. Or they don't do things they wish they had. Big sisters do it all the time. And big brothers too. You ask Bert. Look, don't be too hard on her. I'm sure she'll make up for it. And besides, every time you're a composter, I have to make another one. Sorry. I didn't think about that. I won't tell her if you don't. That was a very close call, and you should all be proud of your achievements. Now, the results are Kiet, 23, Julianne, 23 votes, Robert, 24 votes. So I declare Robert as your student representative. really cut about losing. I hope we did the right thing. Listen, we did, all right? Mm. Rubber will do a great job, I promise you. Well, he better or it'll be our next. We're the ones who even got him over that finish line. And he better remember that next time Bull gives the circus a hard time. Taya, he'll be fine, all right? Mm. We're not after special treatment. We just, we just want him to be fair, which he will, now that he's seen what we do. Yeah, I know. Do you think Jules and Kit will hate us? Yeah, probably, but... Listen, I'll talk to her once she's calmed down. Okay, thanks. Anyway, I've got to get going. I think I'll organise take a holiday next time we take some boat again. What's that for? It's an olive branch. Oh, well, actually, it's a bit of old gum tree, but hopefully it'll serve the same purpose. Look, I'm, I'm sorry I lost. But please, I didn't win. It's OK, you're right. Robbo will do a good job. But at least I proved to a few people that I'm not a complete airhead. They may think I'm a self-obsessed cow, but at least... At least you're not an airhead. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I see you. I, I want to catch up with you. Yeah. I heard. Bad luck, guys. Thanks. It's okay. Mmm, no big deal. Oh, Steve, I can't make it to training this afternoon. I sort of owe Mitchell a favour. You wanna come fishing? Hate fishing. But I guess I can make an exception. Just this once. <laughs> 